Okay. This is my 35 gallon long tank terrarium kind of for my American toad which is down there and my uh, giant day gecko which I am upgrading a new tank for him because you know they like to be in taller tanks so this tank will be gone soon and I'll give this tank to my snakes so I got the heat lamp on the bamboo uh, I've got another just UV lamp there uh, <clears throat> I've got a mixture of bark and uh, some moss all over the toad usually stashes the moss all in that hide there so yeah I've got the hide only the toad uses it the gecko never really goes in it it's too low to the ground a uh, couple I got this wood branch right here just that a rock holding this branch here the smaller one which goes up back there I've got the waterfall got a little fake plants shoved in there uh, this pot here I've got a live plant I'm not sure what kind of plant it is but I know it's like a vine because that's for my grandma and she's got like them all over the place so it's going into the waterfall uh, I got the other bamboo so we can jump around uh, that bamboo is being held up by a branch there you can see and then this bamboo is being held up by the vine got a fake plant here the suction cup doesn't really stay on so it's just it's just sitting there kinda uh, I've got a couple other little teeny fake plants back around anyways there's a toad uh, I can get them out for you There he is. In there for a second. Alright. So. This is the American Toad. Using mail. Uh, he's very hand up. Uh, I can handle him quite easily. He enjoys being handled a lot. Uh, it's a male, because you can tell male or female. Male squeak. Males have vocal pouches. And females do not. Uh, he's about mid-size. He's about two years old. I haven't had him for two years. I've had him for six months, but he looks to be about two years old. Because they do get a little bit bigger than this guy. Uh, yeah, that's him. So, he likes to hide up in this pot here. So, I'll put him in there. <laughs> right, the day gecko is hard to get out because he likes to bite. So, sometimes I'll use a little pencil so I can get in there. And he's biting it. Come on out. Hey, don't bite. Oh, he's obviously not going to listen. Alright, I don't think I can get him out. I'll try. Um, I don't have any twigs or anything. Guess I'll just have to keep using this pencil. Hey, hey, hey! Don't bite. Stop it. Just come out. He's not happy. Here he comes. Oh. Come on, you're almost. There you go. I dropped the pencil in there. Uh, I'll get it later. 
Well, he's not in full color, but he's just been hiding all day. He's not doing much today. He's got some really neat colors. I love the colors on him. He gets really bright green. As of now, he's not. He's got those red dots there. Red lines on the face and a little bit violet blue. I'll get him into a better position. Come on, buddy, move. Move. Now he's on the ground. He'll climb up somewhere. He goes into the plant. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. I'll do another video on him later. Oh, that's him.